be in the Philippines. Played in some really big games. Huge games. College, PBA. I have never, in my 20 years here in the Philippines, seen an arena this packed. So what does that tell me? That tells me I'm in the right place. That tells me you guys are all in the right place. With the right company. So please give all yourselves a round of applause. So first of all, um, I want to thank my team here. I want to thank the board of directors for giving my team, the League of Angels, an opportunity to speak to you tonight. Now, my name is Willie Wilson. <laughs> um, I've been in the PBA for 14 years. 14 years, yeah, long time. I am currently playing for the Phoenix Fuel Masters. And, wow, 14 years. Imagine, we're in a home teammates. Now, 12 years younger than me. I can do that that day. That day, but I know, but pass up to the gym. Wala, wala ang stretching. No. Put him on your wall, that's what I'm going to do. Now, one hour stretching. I'm going to do that. But that's one of the main reasons why I'm, I'm here with this company. This, I mean, as we get older, you know, to compete with, with the next generation of players, you know, you have to find that edge. So that's what brought me to this company um, and Global. The products are, are simply amazing. Imagine that day, but you know, but a small injury, three days, okay, na. But older, na, three weeks. He put in no game. So, I mean, you have to find that edge, something that's gonna help you compete with the younger guys. Because every single year, so what's your advantage? I know what my advantage is. My advantage is this company and the great products. So, 14 years, I've played with some great players. I've played against some great players. And I've been on some great teams. So, in all those great teams, what is the one thing that all those teams had in common? Can any of you guess? Well, it's me. I've been on all those teams. Right? No, no, kidding aside, kidding aside. It's, um, it's been great teamwork. Okay, so, what does teamwork mean? To me, teamwork is a group of individuals working together toward one common goal. Yes. Why is it important? Why is it important for, for, for teammates to work together? It's because they all have their own individual strengths. And when those strengths combine together, you can achieve amazing results. Ordinary people like myself, my team up here, and all of you guys out there, when you put all your strengths together, you can achieve extraordinary results. You all have your respective teams out there. I have my team, like I said, the League of Angels. It's all about being a good teammate and a good team player. So what do you need to be a good teammate and a good team player? I know what, I know what helped me out in being a good team player. I was dependable. My coach told me that, Willie, whenever I put you in the game, I know what I'm gonna get from you. Your teammates know what they're gonna get from you. Now, has my role on every team been the same? No, it hasn't. I mean, there's been times where I had to sit on the bench. Nobody wants to sit on the bench. But if it's for the betterment of the team, you have to do it. That's what being a team player means. There were times where I had to just play defense, and that's what I'm known for today, being one of the best defensive players in the PBA. I think I'm the best. But, I mean, we'll let them judge. I had the privilege of being the go-to guy. You know, I had my best conference where the ball was in my hands on every single play. 
and I was I was voted top five in, in, in the PBA at one point. So I played every single role, but I knew my strengths and I played to my strengths. And that that's what that's what has allowed me to be in the PBA for as long as I have. So it's all about being dependable. Your coach, your teammates need to know that they can depend on you. So what I want you to do right now is look at the person beside you. Tell that person, I am dependable. You can depend on me. So the last thing I'm gonna leave you with is number one, this is gonna this is gonna make you guys all successful. Number one, be dependable. Number two, surround yourself with people that are as well dependable. People that you can depend on. Number three, know your strengths. Number four, be a good teammate. Thank you. So now um, our next speaker is none other than the Fireball. My teammate, I competed against him, my good friend, Joshua Rosando. opportunity is definitely a humbling experience and thank you all for being here uh, every single one of you in this arena is taking a step forward for being here um, I'm going to be talking about a couple aspects uh, of teamwork and its success uh, number one I'm going to be talking about sacrifice what is sacrifice sacrifice to me is you must give up something in order to gain something more valuable in order to make your team successful. And um, I played nine years in the PBA. I had to make a lot of sacrifices. Sacrifices that impacted my life in so many ways. I was a part of the championship team of BMA Glamados. And with that team, we had to, make, we had to know our roles. We had to give up something uh, in order to gain something bigger. Uh, look at the big picture. And um, a lot of people are very interested and they think that personal accolades, personal awards are very important. Me, myself, I do not. I think that when you sacrifice your per personal accolades to the betterment of the team, to the more, um, more purpose, to the success of your team, then all those personal accolades will eventually up here. And everyone loves a champion, everyone loves a successful team. Um, also, I'm, I'm a father of two beautiful girls and a uh, husband of a beautiful wife. Uh, I know everyone else, there's a lot of people in here that are also a part of a family. Sacrifices have to be made in, in not only on the basketball court, but in, in your family as well. Um, you have to give up things in order to achieve your, uh, the same common personal goal. And I'm just so happy to be a part of such an amazing company in Global. Um, actually, they gave, they gave the main, I know, a couple of days, uh, Ala Pilipinas, Dunsa, Indonesia. After the game last night, Panalo Kame, by the way. Thank you all for the support, it's just been amazing. But uh, after we won, I went straight to the airport, then actually we had a layover in Malaysia, and I just got here, arrived here about an hour ago, just to be here with all of you. And that is a perfect example of the sacrifice I had to make. I wanted to make the sacrifice to have no sleep, but to be here in, in order to um, have a success and, 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 and look at the big picture and uh, the, the, what's going to happen in the future plans of my team of League of Angels. And I had to make that sacrifice to be here because I'm not I don't want to think about myself. I want to think more of my team.
and the members of my team. And that's very important for all of you here in this arena to always think about your teammate and what you can do for your teammate. Like John Maxwell said, your team is only as good as your weakest link. Maybe if there's a, uh, uh, a team member is not performing as well, don't put them down. Pick them up because the, the, the success of your team is only going to go as you all go together and the growth that you all do together. As well. Special mention to my upline, Maria Wilson. Uh, she's done a great job with her leadership and she's done a good job on holding us on where we are now. And I appreciate the sacrifice that you've done because it starts with you and, and, and the other uplines. And uh, hopefully we can all you know, continue to be together and grow together. Um, I also want to touch on this uh, topic of comfort zone. It's very, very important, very important that you have to get, uh, think out of the box. You have to get out of your comfort zone because comfort zone means you're relaxed, means you're stress-free, means you're comfortable means you're calm. That's not always a great thing. You have to go out of your comfort zone to maybe explore things that you might have neglected. Explore things that you might not have been able to see because you're so comfortable. When you're out of your comfort zone, it forces you. It forces you to, to, to go through a struggle. Struggle is not always a bad thing. We all go through struggles, but it's how you overcome struggles and obstacles, and you can't do that alone. You have to do that with your team and with your team members and the support of your team. So when you find out how you can overcome those struggles and, and, and uh, explore and be open-minded about the situation, then your team will continue to be stronger and stronger. And I hope that for all of you in this arena. I just, I'm just so thankful to be here and I'm so thankful for, for all of you to, to, to listen. I hope everyone was able to, um, you know, improve and, and, and listen and take things in and, and acquire more knowledge and what it takes. Because I hope that every single, not only my team, the League of Angels, but uh, everybody in this room will become successful. Um, uh, the, the, the products, like my colleague Willie Wilson was talking about, is just amazing. It's changed my life, and I'm. I'm sure that has changed your life as well, and I'm so thankful to be a part of AIM Global. C24-7, oh man, it has changed my life. I'm, I played in the PBA nine years, now playing for all the Filipinas, playing a lot of minutes uh, towards the end of my, uh, my, my prime of my career, and it feels like I'm 25 again. Game day, wake up, I'll have about two 24-7s, have my coffee. Um, co it has gave me so much great energy, worked in my, um, has helped me tremendously with my acid. And then I'll, I'll have two more after lunch. So, uh, game day, sometimes I'll have six to eight, six 24 sevens. Power, power, love it. And, um, and I, I'm just so, I'm so thankful for, for the product and, and, and all the opportunities that my team has given me and you all you all have a bigger impact than you think on the reason why we're doing everything and, and I thank you for that. Uh, now I want, I, I had uh, said my piece and I, I'm thankful and I, I want to hand over the reins to my former teammate, uh, a great friend of mine, um, a current teammate of mine in A Global and please give yourself, give him a warm welcome and a round of applause. Ali, Man Mountain P. successful team, and I played for many successful teams. I, 
I've had the privilege and honor of uh, playing 16 years in the PBA. I retired in 2014, and now I'm a broadcast analyst. And I'm proud to say that I'm now part of a global. I want to say thanks to uh, Mr. Willie Wilson, Joshua Restando, and of course Maria Wilson. They are my upline, they are my biggest support group. I don't know where I'd be uh, without them. They've been very, very supportive. They've been a real team. Now, I gotta talk about that C247 though. That, that C247 is amazing. I can't believe it. I love it. I'm 42 years old. These guys are still young, all right? They say they're old, but they're not old, they're young. I'm gonna be 43 soon. And I'll tell you what, every time I wake up in the morning, I'm tired, but somehow, some way, I'll take the C247, I'll take two of them, and I feel energetic, I feel in a better mood, and I'm ready to go to work. And then the coffee, oh my goodness. I mean, what can I say about the coffee? Caffeine-free, sugar-free, phytonutrients, I love it. I love it. I have like five of them a day. Don't forget the beater. <laughs> of course, who could, who could forget about the beater, right? Okay, so, going back to the topic. I've never been on a successful team that has never gone through adversity. You guys have your own specific teams out there. And at some point, we're all going to go through adversity. It could be anything. I don't know why, but both go hand in hand, right? You can't get success without going through the hard times, the struggling times. So I'm just going to tell a little bit of a story, something that happened during the 2011-2012 uh, Talk and Tech season. I played for Talk and Tech for seven years. It was some of the best basketball I've ever played in my entire life. I played with some of the greatest players, Jimmy Alaba. I played, for Jay, I played with Jason Castro, the best guard in Asia. But on November 7th, 2011, I was finishing up a workout. I walked some of my friends to their cars because it was late at night. Went to my car, and somebody attacked me. I was shot in the back of the head. Believe it or not, the bullet landed one millimeter from my carotid artery. Now, my trainer heard the gunshot. He was the one who drove my car to Medical City. This is on a Tuesday night, 7 o'clock, between 7 and 7.30. There's supposed to be a lot of traffic, but there wasn't. I was able to get there to the emergency room and by the grace of God, I somehow walked on my own two feet and was treated. That's a story in itself. But what transpired in that room, in that hospital room, is something I will never forget. How far are you willing to go for your teammates, especially in time of adversity? Jason Castro was on his way to Pampanga. We all know how far Pampanga is from uh, Metro Manila. He turned around, drove back. Jimmy Alapa, our team captain at the time, was the first player to arrive. Before I knew it, my teammates had surrounded my bed.
Kelly Williams. He said, let's all get together. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. And so we prayed. The man upstairs. So, two months later, again, by the grace of God, I was able to come back, join my team. How far are you willing to go to support your teammate? My friends, my family said, you're crazy. You're running the risk of hurting yourself even more, possibly losing your life. I said, they were there for me. I gotta be there for them. No question. We won the championship. I don't know how we did it, but we did. Again, adversity. How do you respond? How far are you willing to go for your teammate? Chuck Reyes, who's now the, the head coach of Gila's Filipinas. He was my coach for almost 10 years. After we won the championship, he said, guys, it wasn't what we did in practice or on the court or in the championship game. No. I wish I had a, a video to, so I could record how you guys were inside that hospital room. When all of you guys held each other's hands, prayed to support your teammate. He said, that's where you won the championship. That's where you beat diversity. And that's where you went the distance for your teammate. I'm honored to be a part of this company, AIM Global. I have a great support group, League of Angels. I know you guys out there have your own teams. So my question is to you, my challenge is to you, how do you deal with adversity? Because it comes in so many different faces. And how far are you willing to go the extra mile for your team? Thank you guys so much. Thank you. God bless.